All right, SCP-173 Containment Breach by SCP Orientation. I've been hearing a lot about them. Um, I, this live action short film actually looks really fire. Um, it's, so let's uh, let's see, bro. And I heard he has more stuff, so maybe we'll check that out in the future. But let's see, bro. Item number, SCP-173. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container. I don't know where they're filming at, if it's like a sewer or what, but this is fire, I can't lie. ...container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time. And the door is to be relocked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have vacated and relocked the container. I ain't gonna cap, that's a very good question. Why is there only one D-Class if everybody knows that you need more than one person? Moved to Site-19 in 1993. The origin of the object, as of yet, unknown. Oh, the guards are gonna stand SCP there? SCP-173 is constructed from concrete and rebar, with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. That's a W, that's a W figure, bro. There's a lot of work that went into this, bro. It's crazy. The reddish brown substance on the floor. What do you think they put on the floor, bro? They probably put like some some like Hershey some Hershey sauce. Like chocolate. Strawberry chocolate Hershey sauce. You said mud? Mud? You said that's just mud? Okay. I guess I'm getting too creative. Or is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi weekly basis. Personnel assigned to enter the container are instructed to alert one another before blinking. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. I ain't gonna lie, like, that's that's kinda... You said, can SCP not afford better not mop puckets? That's, 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 that, that too. But another thing is, too, like, why are they not talking? They're just going like this. You can talk like you have mouths still. And there should at least be three to four people, in my opinion. Like, if you're going to bring guards, it needs to be more of them. Because them two is just, like, too much. Like, there's no, like, they're too dependent on each other. There should be a third person there just to be, like, a, uh, another variable. And also, if a person is uh, is about to blink and is, like, three to one, I'm be like, ah. You know what I mean? Wait, what, what? What refreshes your eyes better, a longer blink or a quick burst of short blinks? Hmm. Because SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. You f- uh. Oh, I'm tired, chat. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. I'm over it. I'm over it, bro. I'm so over this video already. They ain't, ain't no way. Ain't no way. There's no way. There's no way that y'all just did that shit. Not only, not only is it how did you drop a mop, but it is also your trained professional SCP soldiers that understand that you're dealing with anomalous properties and yet and still you fail your one job. All right. Yeah. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight because SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the ah! skull or by strangulation. Now look, now look, now look, now look. Now look, we going we going to run through the step by step. We not we not even going we're not even going to run it. We're just going to play it, and we're going to say what we could have done better in each step. So right here, you see your man's got his neck cracked. You understand that SCP-173 is now on the loose, has moved around the room. 
all right boom whatever she messes up what's the first thing she does she backs up into a wall the first thing you should do is try to find scp 173 mm-hmm. and also try to find the door back your way towards the door and see where 173 is that should have been her first thing or by strangulation next step you see that the scp is behind the soldier instead of panicking panicking will never get you anywhere let's communicate to the soldier that the scp is behind him let him know that you will keep looking at the scp so that we could take turns blinking and i don't want to die so can you turn around and look at him before we both end up checking so then the soldier needs to slowly turn around but let's see what happens we don't know even know like do they not brief these d classes like, do they not brief them? Do, do they not tell them what is... Like, there's no way. There's no way. You Do they not... Okay. <laughs> na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Now, once again, instead of staring at him and seeing how long you can stare for him to go away, how about you start backing your way towards the door? That is plenty of time to backpedal your way to the door, bro. You are... event of an attack personnel are to observe class 4 hazardous object containment procedures personnel report sounds of scraping stone uh. from within the container when no one is present inside this is considered normal and any change in this behavior should containment be reported bridge, to containment, bridge, containment bridge containment bridge containment bridge containment bridge containment bridge Item number, SCP-173, Object Class, Euclid, End of File. Ah, ah, ah. <coughs> Damn, what was that supposed to scare me? Hey bro, shout out SCP Orientation, that was fire bro, make sure I go check them out. But nah, they're just dumb bro, my man went on a kill streak to get a care package bro. I never understood how you recontain 173. Yeah, bro, I don't know. I don't know.